I just walked in, but y'all already know me. Things in the world nowadays getting OD. Chilling in the crib with the fam, getting cozy. Talking with my people, we at home with our homies. What's up, everybody? I'm JC Anno, Saber Real Estate. This is At Home with Our Homies. I have the one and only Kit Christian Petroni, the man behind Fortina, the Food Network star, the the sneaker collector, the tattoo collector, the all things swag collector. <laughs> what up, Christian? How are you? I know nothing about swag. I, I have friends that are way cooler than me, I guess, that keep me in the in the loop, you know? So I'm very lucky. You're blessed, man. You got sneakers coming your way and you just put them on. You just lace them up and throw them on. Just yeah, it's weird. It's good. Good stuff. It is good stuff, man. I, I do you enjoy the the sneaker culture though, and the and the. You know, I, it's funny. I don't get involved as much in the actual sneaker culture as I see something I like, and you know, it, it is a little fun to like chase it and and call your friends and and get the right deal, get the best deal. Who's already got stuff three, four, five weeks in advance? That's I, I don't know. It's fun. It's fun. Like, it's why fun. Not? Yeah, kids you know, in the Bronx always head. like sneakers. It's just easy, you know. You we also, used to go to we used to go to Cross County um, to to this one spot that for years and years and years and years and years. And like sneakers was always something that you know excited me. And then you know I remember my first pair of like actual um, of actual like uh, sneakers tied to a basketball player. Oh my God! They were the feelers. Remember the high top feelers with the yeah. black and leather outline. I do. Oh man, I remember getting those and like, it. You're trying to chase that feeling now, you know? Like 20 years later, I'm chasing it. I'm looking for that. Dude, that's such a great description, right? It's like you know, it's those things that like it's not. It has nothing to do with like what it costs. It has nothing to do. It's just like getting your head out of all the other shit that's going on and just chasing a vibe. Yeah, you gotta get what is it? The thing that like, like, ticks in your brain, the sparks up. Like, it's more exciting, the ordering and and the finding of the sneakers and yeah, the drop. getting getting the box and then opening the box and the then, smell of the box. And then once it's open, it plateaus and then you're there. You know, it's cool, but like it's everything before it, right? And it's like there's like is there an MOD, right? MOD is a term I created called moment of delight, right? So is there a moment of delight when this box comes in of sneakers or whatever it is, right? What's a, what's a potential MOD? Um, a cool limited sticker. A postcard with some cool info on some nice stock, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe a, a dad hat. Like something unexpected to unexpectedly delight you know I, I learned that from the marriott you know my first kitchen job 100 years ago was um to literally try to unexpectedly delight as many people as possible in a day i love that man so talk to me how do you pull that into fortina tell, tell me a little bit about the magic behind your success with fortina Ooh, i wish i could tell you i don't know how people still like me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? It's like in the restaurants, first of all, you're so talented and you're fortunate to, to do what you do. And um, it, it's amazing that you're you're able to also, you know, spend your life kind of doing what you love, right? I mean, isn't that an amazing feeling? Uh, bro, lotto. You want to talk about the lotto? Oh, right? God. Yeah, I feel very, very, very fortunate that I, oh god yeah like what i get what i get to do uh oh the baby waking up look at that though how old now how old he's five months oh nice. and i am home alone with her sleeping and the, yeah. the two and a half year old over there so you know i'm a little things, ahead of you things can go awry yeah oh yeah some <laughs> beauties i saw them they're oh. you're very blessed bro thank you brother yeah are you still rocking the escalade Got rid of the Escalade. Me too. Um, and I'm actually, we're in the middle of talks with, with some some people to work on a, a fun kind of 
promotional car thing that that I'm really excited about. So can I tell you what? You, actually, I'm lying. By the way, I got another Escalade as I always do. But I got the black sport. It's all blacked out, which is great. And but my wife, that's my wife's car. I don't, I don't drive that anymore. I'm telling you, you know what you need, bro. It's what I got now. It's a Raptor. Have you seen the, the Ford Raptor pickups, bro? Yeah, I know. I am telling you, like you'll, it, it's the craziest, best vehicle on the planet. You know what I drive right now, and, and I drives. say, it, and I say it with pride. It's one of, it's probably one of my favorite cars I've ever had in my life. Talk to me. I got like, like a, uh, uh, kind of like a, a, a euroed out like a, a station wagon from Volvo. Oh, I love that. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, love, I, I love my wagon. It's got the Polestar, you know, little Polestar chips and pipes. And yeah, it, it's got, you know, the, the, the light tan leather uh, juxtaposed by the black, you know, on the outside. It's, it, it's, it's one of my favorites, but it's pretty much a, uh, a city car. So we're, yeah, um, yeah. we're excited about our, uh, about, you know, our new relationship. So we're pumped. You had you had the mocha interior like I we had the same Escalade right you had the black with the mocha, yeah yeah of course yeah, of course. yeah. I miss that I miss it I'll go back to that one day. I do miss it yeah for sure it's a great ride all right yo we're we're, we're past the five minute mark we got to dive into some questions for you you ready uh huh let's get it what's one thing that you're currently trying to make a habit of um creating any sort of routine whatsoever. I'm bad at routine. I don't have routine. I don't make my coffee the same way every morning. I don't make it at the same time every morning. I don't open my laptop up the same time every morning. Um, and I kind of yearn um, for uh, routine. Got it. What is your favorite dish to make? Soft scrambled eggs with my son in the morning with American cheese and grass-fed butter. You know, to nice. to to balance off the processed cheese, you know, <laughs> and we get eggs from down the street, and in a few months we'll have our own eggs. Nice. Um, from believe it or not, we have our little temporary coop here, um, right over. I'm here. Yep. Love we that. Have a, we have a whole. Um, uh, by my my pet chicken is helping me out. We're putting a giant walking chicken coop. Uh, goose coop and duck coop, and then the the whole thing's gonna go kind of around there. So that's um, amazing. We're we're excited for uh, to have our own eggs, but we're able to get eggs from our neighbor. So we, you know, it balances off that delicious, delicious, creamy American cheese. I love it. I love it. Uh, if you love could you snap Maggie. your fingers and become an expert at something, what would it be? The restaurant business. <laughs> What's your favorite way to unwind after a busy day? Oh man, unwind. Yeah, is that even possible at that That's state of life, buddy? I uh, ch check it out. Take, you'll come with me real quick. We'll keep yeah, it tight. Yeah, let's go. Bubba, wait for daddy, okay? You okay? Oh boy, I knew this was gonna happen, bro. <laughs> it's all hitting at once. I might pop in and out, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Do you well, think? If any of the questions, you're more than welcome. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. sweet, sweet or savory? Oh, my God. Both, bro. That's the thing. No routine, you know? <laughs> Hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're back. We're back. Uh, back oh, and funny. better than ever. My baby girl. All right. Uh, so, all right. So. Yeah, you know, I I was never blessed with the girl, man. You're lucky. You know, this is this is totally different, bro. Oh, that's amazing. She's adorable. Thank you, thank you. Adorable. Uh, yeah, we'll give you two more, man. Two more, and you can get back to it. What's the first concert you ever went to? Uh, Pink Martini. Yeah, you ever heard Pink Martini? Terry Pong. Yeah. World music, China Forbes, like beautiful orchestral, um, just different. They they sing in different languages, and they're just they're just the absolute best. I gotta check them out. Look at that precious face. 
Uh, is there a cause, a, a cause that you're passionate about? Yes, right now, what I'm very passionate about is my program called uh, Pies for the People uh, that we started pretty much, you know, right around the, when this first started getting, like, seeming kind of serious, right? Yeah. And um, essentially, there's a link in the website or on my, on my page where you click on it and you can buy a cheese pizza um, and for someone in need. And so essentially, hey, mama, I know I love you. I love you so much. So not only does the, the cheese pizza keep a few of my people working, granted, we've laid off well over 100, maybe more, uh, two, maybe one or 200 people. But it, it allows us to, to keep some people working. It allows us to maybe selfishly keep the lights on. Yes. And then the pizza gets to go somewhere in need. So we've been very excited to be able to make it, be making daily drops um you wouldn't know i haven't I haven't pulled in front of any of them yet and that's cool man i'm happy that everyone's helping out it's beautiful it is um, so how do we how do we support that cause we go to your instagram or, or website and, and there's a link there for us to do oh that. yeah babe you'll see it all right we got shirts we got a a, a kuji pizza slice uh inspired biggie t-shirt that 100 oh. the proceeds go to the, go to the gang um love but, that yeah, the pies for people is great because it it just it just it's been working so wonderfully, and to be able to when the hospital calls and they've been calling and they you know they're in need, and I'm able to say how many hundreds of pies would you like, you know, you Amazing. want hundred, two hundred, three hundred, and we get it to them, and and it's been really really fantastic, and we've been doing some fun pastas with uh, plant based meatballs and and garlic bread. Just it's more about like kind of creating some morale boosters, you know? Yeah, man. No, I love that. That's an amazing cause. I'm definitely going to get on that. And everybody watching, please uh, do your, do what you can to support the cause and, hey, Christian and, and the troops, man. How's Jared doing? What's going on there? What do you got there? I don't know, man. A little special something? Mm, I don't something, know. Something. How's what Jared doing? Oh, my man, Jared, he is killing it. He's on the front lines. He's yeah. in the foxhole. Uh, the mortar shells are flying. And he's special he, dude. He, yeah, he's in there, and and I'm, I'm just floating around, just trying to um, hit the gas even harder than we ever have, instead of not. You know what I mean? Um, so we're just actively still working on projects uh, around the country, and you know this is gonna get better, and I can't wait. Yeah, likewise, brother. Listen, I appreciate you taking the time with, with your ador adorable little girl in your arms. Yeah. Get back after that. That's more important than anything. Bobo, you want to say hi? Yeah, let's say hello. Come on, Bobo, say hi. Bobo. Hi, Jay. Hey, what's doing? How are you? That's Yo, my he's best adorable. friend. That's my best friend. <laughs> the best, right? Oh, my God. There's nothing you. better. Well, listen. Thank you so much. No, nah, thank um, you, brother. I appreciate it. It was a uh, it was a blast. You're the man. And, You're the man. Uh, I love Kyle. Love oh, Kyle. thank you. Yeah, he's a good dude, man. So, congrats on that. He, he's a he's a he's he's one of the best guys you can you ever you can ever be blessed to know. So, I, I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you, sir. All right, my brother. Say bye, Briar. See, See you bye, later. Mama. Say bye, Mama. I love you. <laughs> oh, dude, you're making me want another one now. Go get it. Go get it. You're home anyway. Go get it. All right. <laughs> I'll see you. All right, brother. Be well. Ciao. I just walked in, but y'all already know me. Things in the world nowadays getting oldy. Chilling in the crib with the fam, getting cozy. Talking with my people, we at home.